Selya 1, the first space station was launched on man from the Soviet Union, on April 19, 1971. Two days later, Soyuz 10 lifted off carrying a crew of three, toward the station. The mission was to remain in space for 30 days. The cosmonauts attempted to dock with Salyut 1, but although they were able to lock onto the station, a problem with the hatch kept them from being able to enter it. Once the soft connection is secured, if both spacecraft are pressurized, they may proceed to a hard dock, where the docking mechanisms form an airtight seal, enabling interior hatches to be safely opened. Then, the crew and cargo can be transferred. But the automatic control system failed during approach, due to a serious design flaw. Soft dock was achieved on 24 April 1971, at 1.47 am, but the computer sensed an abnormality in the spacecraft's alignment, and began firing the attitude control jets to lose balance. With Soyuz 10 being pushed to one side by the attitude control system, it became impossible to achieve hard dock. The docking attempt was called off. They returned home early and unsuccessful. On June 6 of the same year, Soyuz 11 transported cosmonauts, Georgi Dobrovolsky, Vladislav Volkov, and Viktor Patsayev to Salyut 1, where after three hours, the spacecraft successfully docked with the station, and the cosmonauts remained on board for 23 days, setting a new record. They became the first men to live aboard, on an Earth-orbiting spacecraft. Their mission wasn't without its problems. On June 16, smoke from a control panel caused the crew to consider abandoning the station, but the unit was switched off, and the problem averted. On June 30, they left Salyut 1 and began re-entry procedures. When the crew fired the explosive bolts, to separate the Soyuz 11 re-entry capsule from the spacecraft, a critical valve was jerked open. 100 miles above the Earth, the capsule was suddenly exposed to the environment of space, depressurizing the interior of the ship. Cosmonauts at the time, did not wear suits while in flight. As the capsule rapidly depressurized, Patsayev tried to close the valve by his hand. Minutes later, the cosmonauts were dead. But, how does death by depressurization feels like? In 1965, a technician at Johnson Space Center in Houston, lived to tell about the experience. While inside a vacuum chamber, the tech accidentally depressurized the suit he was wearing. His last memory before losing consciousness was, the sensation of the moisture on his tongue, beginning to boil. The expert stated some of the possible symptoms of rapid decompression as, swollen flesh, vaporizing blood, exploding eyeballs, and ruptured lungs. While well, Salyut 1 remained in its orbit, no further trips were made to the station. On October 11, 1971, the engines on Salyut 1 fired for the last time, bringing the space station into a lower orbit that would result in its eventual plunge into the Pacific Ocean.